Daobi is the only candidate that has turned out, and he is the only candidate that has attended so many debates, and he has been able to prove his reason for becoming a presidential candidate. Where, aside from tribalism and religion, um, and the religion we have in this country, um, if we are to if we are to follow how the thing should go. The, the Northerners have been in power for too long. The Southerners have been in power for, I mean, the Southwest. So it's, I think it's time for the Southeast. They should give the Southeast a try. And Peter Obi is the best candidate so far. If Peter Obi does not win the election 2023, I have a lot of people that have already told me that they, they are going to leave the country. A lot of people are leaving already. A lot of people are still, a lot of more people are still going to leave. And Nigeria is going to find itself in a very, very disastrous state in which the sense that we the we the physically and mental people cannot um, deliberately choose those who are not mentally and physically okay to rule us. So it's going to be a disaster if Peter Obi does not win. Yeah, obviously um, the so-called Jagaban and the Jagaban is he has the upper hand and Atiku is proving himself too. Like is yeah, he's doing well. But I think. Um, Tinubu, the Batman, has um, has a kind of upper hand because yeah, he has the money and he has some kind of social influence. Okay, of course, you should know I'm obedient all the way. 2023 is all about obedience. My reasons are because we want to get it right. First, we want a, a youth, a, a young, a more younger president there. And we've been voting all these old people over the years and no change. So let's try and vote a younger person and see how far it will go. He sound mentally, the way he talked, the way... I've, I, I, I was in Anambra how many years ago when he was a, pre, a governor there. And I've seen how he has transformed Anambra from what he used to be. So I feel that he's the best candidate for this 2030. Anyway, it's Mr. Peter B. My reason is that what is going on in, in Nigeria now is too wrong. I don't really understand. So they should allow a young person to rule us so that we will know whether there is difference or what. They have been ruling us. Buari have been ruling us. Uh, other Tinubu, Atiku, all of them, they have been ruling us. They should allow a young man to enter so that we will know that we have a change in Nigeria. Let's allow him to try. That is all I have to say. Everybody is suffering in Nigeria now. No food, no work. If you went to work, you work like two months, two, two years, they will just sack you. So let's let them allow Obi to enter so that we will know whether there is a change or not. As I am now, I'm, I'm under God care. It's only my God that is feeding me. So. I'm working to find a way food for me and my children. So if he did not win, I know that God will God has been doing it for us. We continue doing it for us. See when God will choose the right person in Nigeria. Well, Peter will be according to statistics. Um, I feel he has done what he has played his part. Yeah, he has given us evidence, he has given us record to go back to. So, and he's at the right age for a leader, that's what I would say, because we've gone past the age of 60, 70 years trying to lead us. Leading from his time over what he has said and the records we've gone to, how he has made sure he paid the staffs, schools, and all empowerment he has done in the state. So, I feel. He has more of my chances, he has my vote anyways, that's for me, speaking on my own opinion. But Latino, obviously not fit. I feel he's just coming there for power. He has the money. Imagine someone saying he's richer than five to six states, like, and he wants to become the president then, he wants to be richer than the 36 states. That's my own opinion. So that's it for me. So I just feel someone with a drug record and all of that, man, what can we say? If Peter Obi does not win the election, then everybody is on your, you are on your own. Get it the way you can. Leaving the country is everybody's first choice right now. So, if he doesn't get it, then I don't know what Nigeria is going to become. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For now, I have no, I have no candidate for now. And my reason why I have no candidate is that. I see, I found myself in a country where things is not working. 
And because things is not working the way it's all true, I have been in Nigeria for many years. I'm no longer a child. I think I've seen a lot. For that reason, I don't have a candidate. But I still believe in what God can do. And for this reason, I am still believing when God gives us a leader. Romans chapter 13 from verse 1. The Bible says, according to my own faith, the Bible says that anyone placed in authority is there by the power of God. And for this reason, I believe that God is here to give us a leader. For 2023, I don't have a candidate, but I believe that somebody will emerge. And my reason of not having a candidate is that I happen to find myself in Nigeria in a country where things is not working as it's all true. If not, I suppose to have gotten a candidate by now. But for now, because of the kind of country I am in, Nigeria, I have no candidate for now. This is a problem because Nigeria himself is a problem. There's a trouble all over the place. You can, you can see for yourself. You know, we have uh, 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 masses who don't have a, a, good, a good focus. We, we don't have good leaders who are ready to offer us, you know, something good. Who is ready to change the country. So if by now, I don't, how many campaign can you see out there? Except what you can see in social media. There is no physical campaign. Instead, people go house to house, collecting your PVC, try to vote you, try to photocopy it front and back. Is that a campaign? Is that the kind of people you are going to see as your leader tomorrow? And if you happen to get these ones as a leader tomorrow, what happens next? So if you do the same thing today and get the same result, equally if you do the same thing tomorrow, you are still going to get the same result unless you change the way you do things. If Nigeria want to change by tomorrow, in the next 24 hours, I will have a candidate. But Nigeria, I'm not ready to change. P2B will change things if he are allowed to do so. Number one, if you have a masses, people who have an eye, who have view, who has tomorrow, yes, they will go for him. But we don't have masses that, are, that has tomorrow. The kind of masses we have today is those that sold their future for 2,000 naira, 5,000. For this reason, we don't have masses that has future. Even our youth today, I'm dis in fact, I'm disappointed in the kind of youth we have today. Those who don't have conscience, those who want the man who is on the grave to be their leader. And that is not the kind of future Nigeria I'm looking for. But if Obi emerges, if they will allow him to do so, definitely, I believe he will do something that God will use him to work. But for now, just like you asked me before, I have no candidates. Ah. It's obvious now, except those that don't have sense. Except you don't have sense, you talk of not having your best candidate. No sentiment, no, no tribalism, as far as I'm me, me and Jidofo is concerned. Because the situation of the country now is, 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 is affecting everybody. Being Yoruba, being Igbo, being Hausa, being any tribe, even those are not even citizens in Nigeria. It's affecting everybody. Uh, when you see dollar rising to 900, 9 something, common man cannot feed with 500, 200. So, how would you ask me such question, bro? I'm voting for people to be all the way. Sure. It's a common man hope. That's the hope of common man. Common man like me, that's my hope. If Pito be no win election, that will be a problem now. Uh -uh. Inflation will high. That means there is no hope now. Yes, that part go too much. Everybody go on run. Taina saying. Pito be no win, no hope. We all, we, the only hope we have now is just Pito be. To be honest with you. Yes. Pito be is the only hope a common man have right now. Even rich self. Pito be is the only way. Let's be sentiment. Let's not talk about tribalism. Let's not talk about you are from this side, you are the other side. Pito B is the only hope. The only person I believe that he can revive the economy. This, this, can, be, this can be better for, for people like us. The youth have rise already. We rise in the occasion. This will, be, this will be my first time to vote. As a Nigeria, as a youth, I have never voted. And it is my 33 years now. I've never voted for one. I will, this will be my first time to vote. I will vote. If it doesn't count, it's fine. But I'm not seeing winning this election. People have rise now. 
Uh, let's just give instance of um, uh, 2015, when we, where people are combating for for Buari. It's not even up to this time. The property rate is not even up to this time. So what are we saying? I'm simply to be imagined as a president, next president. Yes, to me. That's what I can see. It will be all the way, all the way, all the way. My private candidate for the presidential election 2023 is uh, Pito Obi. The reason why I'm saying all those things is because we need the element of the country because the country is so alone. The microscopic field are piloting the country. We need how to resolve it. And the reason why I'm saying all those things P2B can assist the youth by development of the light of those microscopic fuel that are piloting the country Nigerians. That is my reason how we can support, I can support personally for my presidential election for P2B. If he does not win, I can't say any more of efficiently, but my prayer development, my prayer personally supplication that P2B should win for this presidential election so that the country will go higher the, the, the youth and there is no job opportunity the youth will go far in the job opportunity but if it does not win I don't know the, how the country will be I fear to number but I think to my own knowledge I think it can change some things if not everything because based on what I've heard from my parents I think for now it's still the one, it's still the one that can change it. I think it, my reason is that it's the one that I know that we can control the world, uh, Nigeria, and direct Nigeria to that place, change everything that is already, already lost. That's my reason. And the second one is that the man is not a uh, small uh, distance, but you do have to do what is it for. That is my reason. That